to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so I know you guys have been waiting a very very long time for the updated room tour I have said multiple times oh I'm gonna film it here and there and blah 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 and it still isn't up but I'm going to hopefully film it for you today but I thought I would just show you guys a rundown of why I have not been able to film it yet and what a disaster of a room my, my room looks like but I'm going to do a montage for the beginning of the video of me cleaning up my room but I thought I would show you guys a before so let's get on with that mon little like overview so this is my room this is the floor here's that desk is a mess baby stuff all over the place stuff in here is all over the place it's a disaster so i'm going to stop rambling and get on with this montage so that i can finally show you guys what my room looks like um forewarning though um some things are not going to be up in my room more than likely until later because decorations and stuff have to be moved around a crib is still needing to be ordered and everything like that but basically i will give you guys the rundown of what my room is going to look like so Pushing on that dress up, ain't afraid to show it, I'll expose it if I dress up Riding in that tester, roasted nigga ketchup Sipping on that sever, till I messed up, like yes sir So now I'm getting changed, people looking at me strange Like niggas switching lanes, never change, still the same We fuck bitches, get paper, we fuck niggas on papers We walk around with lasers, you probably own some tasers Blame niggas disgrace us, they girlfriends one day us Got to the hoes, I'm getting hoes, you can tell by my So my mom just came and grabbed Grayson from me because he's being a cranky butt and she hasn't seen him really in the past two days because it's just been super duper busy. So she took him and they're watching Glee. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my room. Disclaimer, again, there is some things in my room that I still have to clean up and I have some decorating and other things to do with my room still. Um, but since I won't be able to probably have like my room completely completely done for a couple of days or even until next week um this is how I'm going to show you guys it now it's okay but I have things I need to repaint in my room and hang up and just overall when yeah first walk in this stuff is here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here or if I'm going to move it somewhere else so that we can open the door completely. This is here. You guys saw earlier that this was on the floor all dismantled. I put it back up and I took a lot of the stuff out that was super heavy. Over here, this is going to be our picture wall. There were some other pictures hanging up here, but they're on my door for right now. And then there's picture frames and stuff. All of this is going upstairs after I finish filming and I am able to do that. But... This is a picture frame that we have to finish. We have to get two more photos to go in there. Um, and then it's going to be hung up on the wall. That picture still remains there. I have to fix it because I don't know if you guys can see or not. But it is out of the frame. This is his piggy bank. And these are a billion fruit flies. Because I will tell you guys in a minute. This is uh, one of his very last ultrasounds. 
and then this is oh my god the fruit flies um this is the very first picture that Alan took after I had I'm recent. wondering why there's a billion fruit flies in my room well when I went to labor I had a cup of lemonade and I brought it down and then my water like completely broke when I came back downstairs to finish packing up everything and I was kind of in a very big rush to get to the hospital so I left it in my room and then we didn't get home until Friday afternoon and that cup had been sitting in my room since Tuesday afternoon so a bunch of fruit flies have conjoined into my room and we are trying to get rid of them but they just seem to keep on multiplying and it's so annoying. And this is Grayson's little shelf down there at the bottom. These two, this is a garbage bag I'm taking up too by the way. These two, this has Alan's shirts in it and this one underneath the, behind the garbage bag has my shirts in it. I've been way too lazy to put our shirts away. Um, this one had another thing of diapers in it but it's over there. This one still has diapers in it. Wipies, as you guys can see, we are really running low on wipes. In here are all of Grayson's pants and shorts, all of his receiving and burp cloths. In here are all of his hats and socks. I need to take pictures with his fox outfit on him again. Down here are more wipies and then a breastfeeding cover, and then there is his um, swaddle, like swaddle. Hospital gave us one of those blanket like thingies that velcro up and it swaddles them but I only used it once on Grayson because Grayson is the type of baby that actually does not like to be swaddled he likes to be free and being able to stretch out he does not like to be confined unless you are cuddling with him so then over here yeah. is my dresser and yes there is a bunch of stuff on it right now all of the decorations and stuff that were on the walls basically are on on this <sighs> all of this stuff is going to be cleaned don't worry um, I have to clean my mirror again because you can see how dirty it is also the lights that were on my mirror got taken off because they broke I have to paint these spots on my wall if I have any more of my wall paint because when I took off these letters the paint just peeled right off which is really crummy this is not going to be staying here either. I'm going to be taking that down and putting it where it needs to go. This stuff won't be staying here for long either. It's going to be moved somewhere else because it's going to be in the way of the crib. This is also going to be moved, but right now they're just kind of like sitting in the corner. Um, Grayson has a love-hate relationship with this thing. He only goes in it when he's like super calm and he's really tired. He'll fall asleep in it because it... Where's the button? It moves, so. Oh, I didn't turn it off all the way. Turn it off. Um, down there is our big diaper bag, AKA our old hospital bag, but whenever I go to stay somewhere for long periods of time, I do take that one because then I can just put a lot of stuff in it. And then his pack and play is here. Inside his pack and play has two pillows and a blanket and it kind of dips down so that he doesn't roll or anything um we have the pillows in there because he does not sleep in the pack and play without it because the mattress in it he does not like because it is super duper uncomfortable and not very like it's just not comfortable overall up here these lights are being taken down i just gotta get them down um and then all of the decorations will be going up after we get our crib and i can like i figure out where they are going to be able to go Alan's hats, I'm not sure where I'm going to move them to, but I do think I want to move them. Same with um, It's a Boy stuff. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. I think I might put them on this wall right here, the It's a Boy stuff. And then I think I might put his hats in the closet on the wall right here. Haven't decided my lovely yet. bed. And if you haven't noticed, I don't sleep in my bed the right way anymore. I sleep on my bed this way and not this way. And the main reason for that is because Grayson sleeps in the bed with me sometimes and it's just 10 times easier if I lay this way than the other way and I've just gotten so used to laying this way that that's just kind of how it's been. The bag is sitting right here. It goes over in that corner. Also a bag I gotta take to Alan's is sitting there. Um, over here, all of the soda that Alan has bought. Some cups that I gotta take care of. This is 
our little box that I keep by my bed every single day. I keep it restocked and everything like that. So in it, there's always bottles for the night, formula containers that have the amount in it. So I just grab, pour in, shake up the bottle. A bunch of diapers, wipes, and then underneath my Cheetos has all of his medical stuff like his diaper rash cream, his Tylenol, his gas drops, just in case I need them at night. Then this bag is for dirty bottles, so whenever he uses a bottle, I throw it in the bag, and then once I'm like down to my last three bottles, I just grab the bag and I go take care of them and wash them. My mom was calling me. Then we have our case of water. I have to get a new case soon because I think we only have like eight water bottles left, which will only last so long. Then our laundry basket. As of right now, I just kind of like wash our laundry all together, even with Grayson's, because I use the same detergent for Grayson's laundry as I do with mine. This basket I'm using just to keep clothes in there. Alan has to get me more hangers because I have no more, because um, we got so many clothes. And then this thing is always how it is. There's like some food stuff up there, and then like a bunch of other stuff. This first drawer has all of his bath time stuff in it. And then this uh, this drawer is just like stuff we either don't use or, excuse me, he can't use yet, like toys and stuff like that. And then all of his clothes. Pretty sure the last time I did a room tour, this closet was definitely not this full, but trust me, it gets even fuller because I need to do his laundry. And there's still stuff down there, so he pretty much has a jam-packed closet right now. And then up there, don't mind over here. Um, that has his blankets and stuff in it. There's some medical stuff up there, his extra diaper bag, and then that has diapers in it, but those are size up diapers. Um, let me just tell you guys, we have no more packages of size one diapers. He has no more except for what's in this box and then the box that's over there. Kind of hoping and praying that I, like, he does not run out of diapers until next Wednesday because next Wednesday is when Alan gets paid, so... Fingers crossed that we have enough diapers until then because that's going to be bad if so we don't. that is basically my room right now. Um, I'm pretty sure on social medias you guys will see like how my room is actually coming together and all that kind of stuff. And I'll show you guys an overview of the room when we do get the crib because I do plan on filming a video of us putting the crib together and putting it in our room and everything like that. So... Um, I will show you guys an overview of the room, of how it's coming along then as well. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.